Hello and welcome to another anatomy video. Today I'll be talking about the sciatic nerve and its various bifurcations. And we'll also discuss the muscles that it innervates as well as the sensory innervation. So the sciatic nerve is really important. It goes all the way down from your hip to your foot and it does pretty much almost everything in your legs. So, we'll start here. Um, coming down, this would be a, this would be along the femur. Um, it's really two nerves actually that are just um, still staying together. So, in this region, it will be called the sciatic. And then once it hits kind of below the um, femur, it will branch into the tibial and fibular parts. So while there's two here and they're kind of separate, it still is just called the sciatic nerve. Oh, we're looking at this um, posteriorly for a right leg. So over here we will have the lateral side and over on this side is the medial side. So the sciatic nerve will branch into the tibial nerve and the common fibular. So it will just go down two sides. And the fib common fibular will be lateral and that will branch again into the superficial fibular and the deep fibular. The tibial will branch into three things. It'll become the calcaneal nerve and then the medial and lateral plantar. And then you have this little one, the medial and lateral sural. And you can see that it has a branch coming from the tibial and the common fibular. And then that will combine to make just the sural nerve. So, we'll talk about um, which ventral rami these come off of as well. The tibial comes off of L4 and 5 and S1 to 3, and it's going to supply your gastrocnemius for muscles, your gastroc, your calf, soleus, plantaris, flexor digitorum longus, flexor hallucis longus tibialis posterior, and popliteus. And for skin, it'll just be the plantar surface of your heel. So kind of the underside of your heel, which is kind of weird to think about because it's all the way up here. But the sensory information it receives is from the bottom of your heel. But it's pretty cool. Uh, the common fibular is going to be off of ventral rami L4 and 5, and then S1 and 2. And this is only sensory information. It's just the skin area around your lateral knee. And kind of cool fact to know about this nerve is it's really um, close to the skin. Uh, <clears throat> um, so like athletes might be icing the outside of their knee and they might leave that ice pack on and forget about it and they could actually cause nerve damage if they leave it on too long so if you're icing the outside of your knee don't forget about it um, remember to take it off after about 15 minutes or so so that you don't cause nerve damage to the common fibular or superficial nerve superficial fibular nerve Sciatic nerve comes off of L4 and L5, as well as S1 to 3 ventral rami, and it's going to innervate your hamstrings muscles. So the biceps femoris, semimembranosus, and semitendinosus. So that will aid in knee flexion. Um, the medial and lateral sural will combine to 
make the sural nerve, and that will be innervating the skin of the posterior surface of your leg, kind of more in the calf, lower calf region, or lower leg region, not so much up in the uh, thigh area. Um, your medial and lateral plantar innervate the muscles that help you do foot intrinsics, so moving your foot around, things like that. And then it'll innervate the skin on the bottom of your foot or the sole of your foot. Uh, the deep fibular, I wrote all that stuff over here because I didn't have room, um, innervates a lot of muscles. So your fibulars tertius, tibialis anterior, extensor hallucis longus, extensor digitorum longus, extensor digitorum brevis, extensor hallucis brevis. So that's a bunch, and it's really easy to get those mixed up. And I don't have a cool trick to remember them. Um, maybe you can come up with one that will help you, but I don't. Sorry. And for skin, it will innervate the web space between your great toe and dorsum of the foot. So just in between your big toe and your second toe, second toe the top skin area right there. Lastly, the superficial fibular nerve will innervate um, your fibularis brevis and fibularis longus muscles. And for the skin, it will innervate the anterior lateral-ish surface of your leg and foot. So you can kind of see that some of these have, there's like a little bit of overlap. Like it's not like you have super distinct regions so like your superficial fibular, anterior lateral surface of leg, sural nerve, posterior surface is kind of posterior lateral-ish. Like they're not super distinct, but that's kind of just the general areas that they do. So, and make sure that when you um, are being tested on this you know what your professor wants because like for my anatomy class I am required to be super specific so I can't just say calcaneal like I have to say like calcaneal nerve of the tibial branch or like Um, calcaneal branch of the tibial nerve. Sorry. Or like, yeah, just, you have to be really specific. Like on one of my tests, I was asked a question about the cranial nerves, like name three nerves that go through the superior orbital fissure in the skull. And so I said like oculomotor, trochlear, and um, abducens, and I got marked off a point out of three because I didn't say, um, like, cranial nerves three, four, and six. Like, I didn't put the Roman numerals after each one. So that's because my professor is a stickler about things like that. So uh, don't do that. Um, just learn what you have to say when you're saying these nerves. And I hope this video was helpful, and thanks for watching.